today got a very special one for you as you can see right here in front of you let's move this into frame just a little bit Stella Rosa one of my favorite wines uh, actually one of my ex-girlfriends put me on to this and a girl I really really like is from well I don't, she's not from Italy but she has Italian in her so these wines here all from a city in was it, Italy is uh, Piedmont Italy is where these wines are made the family is from the family lives in California right now and they have I think they said this started and it started actually started in 1917 Stella Rosa started during that time it may have been named something different but these wines are the wines we are drinking today we are doing a little taste testing today so this one right here in the middle I have not had this one is going this is Stella black this is going in the tall glass right here and I'll give you the story behind this glass uh, because it's my favorite and then the original which is also again very tasty but I'm drinking it for y'all because y'all deserve to know what it looks like when I make faces when I taste these beautiful Stella Rosa wines so we're gonna do my favorite last so let's start with the Stella peach I have not had this one so they all switched off tops which is good so we're gonna take that and we're gonna pour a healthy glass of Stella. Oh, I forgot something, a tip. I promise it don't make the wine bad, I promise. We're gonna use something special. Y'all like my outfit? Nice, right? We're gonna use something special. Ice. I put, now, one piece of ice in every single one that I drink okay I know please wine connoisseurs please don't kill me for this but cheers Woo! oh I feel it all up in here mmm oh that's good so what y'all don't know about this wine is it has like a little acidic flavor to it like it's uh how do I say? Um, it's kind of bubbly, like uh, I would say, like Coca Cola. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. I put actually put a little bit of ice in this one because uh, this one and this one I'm gonna put ice in because I didn't get a chance to put these in the freezer. I just got home. Mm. But I tell you right now, the peach is strong in this one. Oh my god. So most guys be like, oh, like these are girly drinks because these are all sweet wines. None of them are like unsweet. <laughs> these are very, very sweet and has a little bubbly to a little, it's a little bubble to all of them. So let's finish this one real quick. Let's see if we can finish this quick. Mm. Boom shakalaka. That one's done. All right. Now we're gonna do, let's close this back up. And we're gonna put it in the refrigerator so it, the refrigerator so it can get cold. We're gonna put that back there, Stella Rosa Peach. Now we're gonna go with the, this is the original Stella Rosa. So good, so good. So let's crack this baby open. It's fun, y'all can watch me drink on camera. Watch me get drunk on camera basically. <laughs> Again, very sweet. The original. This one is really, really, really good. Let me. We pouring like half glasses or more. Because I like to drink this. And I'm not going anywhere after this possibly. I'm gonna put that one there in the background. Cheers. Mmm. I love the smell of this one specifically the original is something about the, it smells so good mm. it actually smells better than the black but I like how the black tastes mm. Mm. you see and look how red it is you see that look how pretty that is 
It's a pretty red, isn't it? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Very good. Very good. We all finish this off so we can get to my favorite. The Stella Black. Woo. And that one's done. This one is already cold, actually. So I had this one in the refrigerator. refrigerator. I just went and got these two. So I was like, I want to do a video and I want to drink. What a perfect thing to do. Let's put it all together. Let's put it on YouTube. Let's get this monetized. So we're going to talk about this. Geraldine and Jean. This is my special glass. <laughs> my name is none of these first or last. This is from someone who got divorced. And they didn't want their glasses. So I decided to take the glasses that they drank out of in their special moment when they got married. Now they are divorced. And I really like the glass, so I chose to take them and drink out of them. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> well, Gene and Geraldine, I appreciate y'all drinking out of a very fancy glass. Uh, because y'all got divorced. So, thanks. Oh, look at that. Y'all see that? Look at that. Ooh, we're going to fill that up a little bit more. There we go. There we go. And we're going to put Stella Black, Stella Rosa back in the black ground. Back, black, back in the black in the background. Cheers. This is my favorite. Can you see the color? It's a little bit darker. Ain't that beautiful? And it looks like it's a little bit more bubblier, too. Mm. Woo. Woo, woo. I don't know what it is about this one that tastes so good. Mm. And just to give y'all a little hint, never, I'm going to bring this one back real quick. Oh, it doesn't mess a bit. Never hold your glass like this because your fingers get warm. And when your wine is cold, your fingers are warm, it warms up the the wine and it changes the flavor you always this is a little uh wine glass etiquette you always want to hold it here you want to hold it at the stem okay the stem is the the uh you know it's there to keep you from touching the rest of the glass of where it's cold you want to keep the consistency of the flavor intact so you keep your fingers on the stem and you drink like that don't drink like that. That shit ain't fancy. It's just ignorant. Okay. Cheers. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that is good. Mm. I should probably go into depth on where they got these grapes in Italy, but where I don't know where they got them, but wherever they got them, keep getting it from them, Stella, because I'm going to do some more. Stella has a lot more flavors that have come out that I have not tried, like, uh, what was that, the watermelon, I believe? I have to try that one out. That one was, it looked really good. <laughs> it looked like, like uh, it, look, it looked like juice, actually, but I was, I need to try that out. But it's okay to put a little bit of ice in there. Uh, that's just what I do. Some, you know, like I told y'all, my, my ex, you kind of put me on to that. And it doesn't, like, hurt the wine or anything, in my opinion. To the people who love, love, love wine, it might be, and wine kind of suits, it, it might be a whole different thing. But we're going to finish this glass. So we're going to uh, toast to Geraldine and Jean to a very happy divorce. Mm. Mm. Ah. Again, Stella Rosa Black, Stella Rosa Stella Peach, and Stella Rosa Stella Rosa. Oh, that's the original. Go get them at any Walgreens. You can get them at CVS. You can get them at your local liquor store. They are very good. If you like sweet wine with a little bit of it's, it's a little bubbly to it. Go ahead and try them out. I promise you will love them. I promise. Next, we're going to do something with whiskey, actually. I'm going to show y'all this. I only got <laughs> more than half gone. But 
You see that? It's called Four Roses, a uh, single barrel whiskey. It is really good whiskey. I, but I have a Buffalo Trace whiskey and a secret whiskey I'm gonna tell y'all about when I do my next video. So you gotta stay tuned. So I'm gonna talk to y'all later, all right? We're gonna do some more Stellas and some more drinking on camera. What is YouTube doing to me?